Welcome there, wrestling fans. You're watching Destiny Wrestling on the ProView Network. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Miranda Morales here at DWO Three Shades of Fate. I'm here with Johnny Swole, who's going to be facing Turbo Tony tonight. What are your thoughts about your match? First off, I'm in an absolutely horrible mood. Last show, I got my lip busted open and completely scarred over. It looks god-awful. Secondly, I was in the sun for about 20 seconds today, and I am completely sunburned. I got it on my shoulders, chest, and back, and it stinks. I don't know what happened. Now tonight, I'm going to take the emotions from that bad mood, and I'm going to, of course, put it in my ring, because that's what I always do, right? Hello, Dusty Wrestling fans. I'm Jesse Lujan, and we're here live at Three Shades of Fate, and I'm here with Turbo Tony. Turbo Tony is taking on Johnny Swole. Your comments on that. Well, my comments are pretty simple. They're straightforward. I got wind that Johnny Swole is talking to the Josh Carey. Uh, so I don't know what's going on with the Fat Society. I can tell you from my experience that it's a thing of the past. I'm done with it. So Johnny Swole, the Josh Carey, just leave me out of it from now on. Just back off or I'm going to make you. Strong words there and back to the action in the ring. And hello there, Destiny Wrestling fans. I am Will VVDK, and I would like to thank you for showing up, tuning in, and checking out Three Shades of Fate, and to my left, none other than Carney Rob. Let's go down to the ring. Thank you again for being here to support DWO tonight. Are you guys ready to get this show going? And as you can see, Carney Rob, Turbo Tony is making his way to the ring. This match between him and Johnny Swole marks the third time that the two of these gentlemen have tied up horns. Once was in a one-on-one, -on -one. the second one was a qualifier for the full access championship. And tonight, again, a one-on-one -on -one match between Johnny Swole and Turbo Tony. That is right, it's their second one-on-one. -on -one, um is this going to be a third time charm thing for Turbo Tony? We know he's been on a very long losing streak here within Destiny Wrestling. Is this going to allow him to snap that losing streak that he's been on? Uh, that is a good question, Carney Rob. I will remind you that uh, Turbo Tony, one of the last victories he did pick up was against you. So keep that in mind just for funsies there, sir. Well, remember, we're, uh, we're talking about the present, not the past. Um, I don't think I recall what happened at either of those um, two matches we were in. That is true. You've hit one or two buffets between now and then, and it doesn't shock me that you might not remember. And there he is, Johnny Swole. He is quite the specimen, Carney Rob. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the first match between these two gentlemen was sort of an initiation to see if Johnny Swole would fit in with the Fat Society. And... Uh, Obviously, Josh Carey did not believe Johnny Swole had what it took to be part of that. But then, Josh Carey turned on Turbo Tony. And now these two gentlemen are going to be squaring off. They are both quite fit. I am not going to lie. They are put together quite well. I am interested to see if the stamina and the strength is what wins out here, Carney Rob, or what else might be that X factor. Well, who knows? Um, We know there's a few things that... um. Josh Carey would bring in helping out Turbo Tony. He had that book of carry that would have definitely helped out Tony in this situation. He may have been able to um, speed his way into the win column again. That is a possibility here, but uh, Turbo Tony is now out on his own and definitely has changed his outlook. I'm not going to lie here. It does seem like the crowd is very split between these two wrestlers. I'll be curious to see where we end on this, if it's going to be a handshake or if these two are just going to go right at each other. Well, let's see what happens with these two very powerful, powerful young men. Looks like Swole does want the handshake. 
Maybe not. There we go, and as you can hear, the fans are getting behind Turbo Tony. He seems to be the Albuquerque favorite. That is true. Coming here, uh, Turbo Tony is is quite the power lifter here in New Mexico, and Johnny Swole obviously looks like he could do some damage in that realm as well. Big time, Johnny Swole showing some of that strength, throwing Turbo Tony down to the mat. Now, do you think that's because um he's just that much stronger than um, good old Turbo Tony, or is it because Turbo Tony's kind of a, a small man? I mean, he is very well developed, very well. Um, has muscles. Easy know, about development there, Carney Rob. We're calling wrestling here, sir. Let's just go easy there. To answer your question, I think really what might have happened there is Turbo Tony was probably not expecting that. Obviously grabbing that front headlock there. Swole is shooting Tony off the ropes. Oh, into the shoulder block, but not quite. It looks, oh, he no, he did. Swole's waving off that shoulder block, waving it off. Second rope. Pass through. Oh, big shoulder block by Swall. He is showing his strength, Carney Rob. He is showing a bit of dominance right this second. Well, just like I normally do in, in all my matches, even right now, um, he may be down, but I might give this match, might might be um, Turbo Tony's win. I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and pick him. Oh, very nice. That was sort of a rotating power slam. Very good. From his knees. And a Japanese arm drag. Turbo Tony and the big drop kick. Turbo Tony is showing something to the crowd right here, and I believe they're getting behind it. That is a spark that I have been waiting, Carney Rock. I've been waiting to see from Turbo Tony. I know he's got the skills. I'm just waiting to see that killer instinct. Oh, oh, and Swole caught the foot, driving Turbo Tony's face down onto the ring apron. Well, you, we got to see um, the difference there between, both of them are very powerful, powerful men when it oh. does come to their accolades with the lifting, but you can see the agility is, I would put it on Turbo Tony's side there, you know, especially with that mule kick that looked amazing. That is true. And we just watched Johnny Swole backdrop Turbo Tony right on the ring apron. And as we've said in the past, that is the hardest part of the ring. And a big scoop slam. Going back to the back again, if you will. Are we gonna see our first cover of the match? No, he goes off the rope. Big knee drop to the head, and here we go. One. Two, just a two count, Carney Rob. That again shows you the strength of both these guys. They're not going to lay down. You're going to have to wear each gentleman down. And this that's exactly what um, Swole is doing right now. He is working on just, just wearing out Turbo Tony, wearing him down, working on that back, working on the chest, and now working on that windpipe. Exactly. Yeah. He is cutting off the air right there, Carney Rob. That is as much as people don't realize if you can't get your wind i mean really you're going out at that point you're passing out you're winded oh big back elbow and those are some big arms to have around your throat that is true that is crushing off the windpipe and we get another two count johnny swole picking up turbo tony by the head see what's happening he does seem to oh into the buckle he does seem to be taking control of this match right now carney rob oh and a big slap across the face now, we haven't seen exactly where Swole's out in that point. We don't know, you know, if he's going to be a crowd favorite, if not, if he even cares at that point. He's coming in. Oh, back elbow. It looks like it's a double there. Oh, there we go again. Turbo Tony is cutting him off. Bringing in. Oh, into the buckle. He moved out of the way. Big Lariat coming back out. Swole has got some major, major arms on him. And, and now we get a bit of a cocky pin. What did you think about that there, Carney? Um, that, that's the way I like to pin people, let them know that I am um, dominant to them. Um, that's Carney, the way, let, let, Let's be honest there, Carney, Rob. The only thing that you're pinning is a, is a sandwich between the upper and lower gums of your mouth, sir. Let's call the match here. Let's not talk about the buffet sandwiches and the, the meat grinder and everything else that you're putting in. We've got him here in the corner. He's got a foot on the throat. Now, I know that is something going back to you that you would like to employ because obviously that is a bit of a, a, a cheat, if you will, a bit of a, an easy way out with the foot on the throat. Well, I like to teach people the right way of doing things in life, and I believe if you're not cheating, you're not trying. Easy now. That is a uh, that is a reference to one of our falling falling brothers, and I do like it. But uh, let's not go steal anything. Uh, I do want to make a mention. Oh, big knee to the side of the head. Johnny Swole did take two 
counted one, two punches to Turbo Tony's face. There is the possibility that Kyle could disqualify him from that. And now we got a two count and Tony kicks out. Again, the reser deep, big down deep reservoir of, of instinct there by Turbo Tony just kicking out at the last minute. Yes, and as you did bring up, um, I don't know if if the fans actually really realize that, but a closed fist punch is illegal. You know, oh. a big back elbow. Going back down for another cover. Oh, last minute again, that's two. I, I, I really believe Turbo Tony's got a little something on his side right now. I mean, he he is getting punished a bit by the, the I guess, bigger man, if you will, even though both these guys are quite fit but he is kicking out. The question is, is if he's gonna have enough after all these big kickouts to keep going. Oh, little insult to injury on that one there, Cardi Rob. Just a little bit. And did I let you know that I did pick um, Swoles to win this match? If, uh, if I remember correctly, I don't believe that was your early pick. Oh, big neck breaker. Good work by Turbo Tony, bringing the bigger man down. We're gonna see what we got. Both men are down here. Nice is going to the 10 count. The crowd seems to be rallying behind Turbo Tony. Yeah. I think they want him to win. Are you now going to switch your pick back to Turbo Tony, or are you sticking with Johnny Swole on the third pick? I'm picking a double um, countdown. Uh, ne never mind. Oh, both men are up. Here we go. Oh, duck of the lariat. Oh, big lariat by Turbo Tony. Here we go. Big back elbow by Turbo Tony. Oh, spin through. And another neck breaker. If he's got it in him, this might do it. Here we go. One. Two! Oh, only a two count, Cardi Rob. Only a two count. Johnny Swole dug deep as well. These two gentlemen truly are evenly matched. I can see why Josh Carey originally recruited Turbo Tony, and I can see why he also was looking to put Johnny Swole in the stable. But both these men are on their own. They do not need that man. Big push off. Oh, kick to the gut. Johnny Swole going up. No. Oh, he tried to fight it off. Oh, big sit out right there. That is devastating by Johnny Swole. Oh, only a two. I cannot believe it, Carney Rob. I am not going to lie to you. That should have been a finish. It should have been. And, you know, it, I really thought that my pick, um, Swole, was going to end it right then and there. Um, I think Turbo Tony's taking the wrong idea. He's been working on Swole's neck. I don't know if Swole's even has a neck. That might not be a good idea. That is true. He is very thick in that upper area. Oh, pull him back. Dropping back like you said on the neck. Going one, two, kick out by Swole. This is a back and forth match. You are seeing live Destiny Wrestling, Three Shades of Fate. These two gentlemen are putting it all out there. Yeah, and it looks like they're both just trying to get their wits you know, amongst them. I mean, Tony's taking a beating the majority of this match. He's trying to do everything he can to put Swole's away. And Does Turbo's got him enough? up. Oh, no. Swole got out of it. Oh, the ripcord elbow. That is the Omino spike. The Omino spike by Johnny Swole. And now he's got it. Oh, big Death Valley driver by Johnny Swole. Is that going to do it? And it is, Carney Rob. One, two, three by Johnny Swole over Turbo Tony. What a match, Carney Rob. What a match. What a way to start the night. You couldn't ask for more excitement out there in this ring tonight. I can't agree with you any more than what you just said, Carney Rob. That was fantastic. That was a hell of a match. I can't wait to see what the rest of the show produces for us. Your winner, Johnny Swole over Turbo Tony. That was a killer. That was fantastic. Hell of a match, New Mexico. Good job, Destiny Wrestling. Hello, Destiny Wrestling fans. I'm Jesse Lujan. You're live at Three Shades of Fate here with Turbo Tony, who fought against Johnny Swole. It did not come up victorious, your words. Yeah, that kind of sucked. I didn't win. But I'll tell you what, I'll promise you one thing. I'm not done. I took that loss. I'm coming back. August 5th, Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'm back here, Westside Community Center. I will continue to fight. I'm not done. Very determined, Turbo Tony. Hello, Destiny Wrestling fans. I'm Jesse Lujan. We're here live at Three Shades of Fate, and I am here with Johnny Swole, who had an amazing victory over Turbo Tony. Absolutely. And tonight, it made me realize something. Something clicked in my brain. That I am the absolute poster boy of everything that this society stands for. You see, I got the tan, the body. Now, see, I'm a little sunburned. Don't worry, it's going to go away. But it's going to burn out just as bad as Turbo Tony did tonight. Because I'm bitter and bigger, stronger, tanner, and fitter than him. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. 
You're watching Destiny Wrestling on ProView Networks, but I would like to invite anybody who's never been to a DWO show to come and witness the action live for yourself. August 5th, September 9th, our biggest show of the year, Day of Destiny 10, October 21st, and finally, December 2nd. For more information, visit us at DWOWrestling.com, and I hope to see you guys soon. Welcome back, wrestling fans. Hello, Destiny Wrestling fans. I'm Jesse Luhan. We're here live at Three Shades of Faith. I am here with the Cult Awaits You, the provider here. It's I am the provider. That's the most important part. Don't forget it. We don't need you any longer. Excuse yourself. DWO, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Last month, we brought you I am not profit. And let's just say he made an impression. He fulfilled the prophecy. <laughs> Brute 66, <laughs> the Joker and the Jester. It's funny, you always want to make a joke out of everything. So it's time you take this seriously. You know what? It's real funny to me as well. The name of this company is Destiny Wrestling Organization. And that is our destiny to become the tag team champions. And if they were real men! They want to be famous tonight for those tag team titles! Join, transcend, obey, join. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Miranda Morales here with the DWO Tag Team Champions Brute 66. Tonight, you will have a non title match against the Cult Awaits You. Your thoughts? My thoughts? I am the prophet. You came down here and you took out our number one contenders. And then you go get I am the provider, and you think you can just demand a match? Well, you're right, because you're going to get your match, but it's a non-title match. Yourself, I am the provider, I am the prophet. Well, guess what? I am pissed. Let's take it back to the ring. The following non-title tag team match is scheduled for one ball. Introducing first. And hey there, Carney Rob. This is Will the VDK. We've got The Cult Awaits You coming out versus Brute 66. Now, last month, we saw I Am The Prophet destroy, and I mean destroy, Carney Rob, the Fox Stars. Both Lucha Star and Shadow Fox were having to be carried from the ring. Truly, Shadow Fox got obliterated. And as you can see here, it is I Am The Prophet. And coming out to the ring right now is I Am The Prophet. The provider, Carney Rob. And I think they're trying to provide um, Destiny Wrestling with a way of getting rid of Brute 66. I think they're trying to bring in and and open up these people's eyes to really what greatness is. And it, and it is true that, I mean, uh, last month we saw the heat between I Am The Prophet and uh, Ray Basuda after that vicious, vicious attack on the Fox Stars. These two gentlemen and, and, and their manager make up the cult awaits you. Let me repeat that. The cult awaits you. I mean, I do not know exactly what to expect from these guys. We have not seen them in actual wrestling action as of yet, Carney Rock. Did you see what just happened in the audience? They actually got a member of the audience just to stand up and start videotaping them just by going over and talking to them. What kind of powerful words does he have to say that would make a man just do that? Just start start falling into a trance of a leader like that. It is, it is true. You I mean, are to be graced I am curious to see where this will go. Tonight. Let's go to the ring and listen. Out of all the timelines, all the parallel timelines, I choose this one. I choose this one right here to save all of you. I am your savior. I am your saint. Oh, I suck, huh? Why don't you bring my opponents out? Because I have something to say to them. And the I, music. And I am the provider has just called out Brute 66. Let's see exactly what's going to happen here. These two gentlemen, I mean, Shut up. if anything is, is, you know, to be expected here from what happened last month, I mean, we are in for something seriously violent. 
Route 66, I will say this, as tag team champions, they have gone through some serious wars to hold on to, help to gain those tag team championships and to hold on to them. This could turn out to be a monster bloodbath. I mean, this is four gentlemen, four gentlemen, Carney Rob, that do not care so much about themselves and, and the pain that they're enduring, but inflicting pain on others. I am curious to see what the cult awaits you has to say to Brute 66. Oh, me too. And especially with this being a non-title match, um, there is no, right now, is there really a number one contender with what happened to Shadow Fox? You know, is this a way for the Colt to get their shot at Destiny Wrestling Gold? I think I think that is a grand question there, Carney Rob. I think that's exactly what this is. I don't believe Adam Merrick thought that the um, that the Colt should be given a title shot, like for for their actions and what they did. I don't think he We're believes that they earned more anything. Power with this energy. I feed off of it like an I think what vampire. this match is going to be right this here, here is, is real it. Hometown heroes. If this they, the cult can beat Brute 66, then maybe, maybe they have earned a shot at those titles. But I don't think Adam no, Merritt wanted to reward them after man, what happened last you were a man, you would put those titles on the line and quit. Quit resisting destiny. This is Destiny Wrestling Organization, and it is our destiny to hold those titles. I'll give you one offer right now. You can take my hand. You can join the cult and hand the belts over right now. Do the right thing. Will they do the right thing? This isn't a threat. Don't listen to them. I'm not here to fight you. I don't need Obviously. to fight. You the provider believes that Mosh like and Ray Basuda should be part destiny. of the cult. What do you now, say? I am not sure about this. They came up to us in such a weird manner backstage, and we were talking to them, and obviously their their claims are quite bold. Their claims are, Carney Rob, you know that what? they have a bigger I following, a, a bigger following than I Jim Jones had before the Jonestown Massacre. Me, I mean, can you I believe you that, that they would have face. that many followers, go, that many people out there that. around Bring the, the US, back. around the crowd that would follow them? They said no to the title match. And, and I wouldn't have believed it until I saw them memorize this fan who just is continuing to stand up and videotape everything. That and is he's true. Videotape it on their request. They said, "Here's oh. the camera. Videotape us." Yeah, I mean, he he is taken. He is mesmerized by the cult leader himself, and I mean, he hasn't put that camera down as of yet. Oh, that was a stiff shot. A stiff shot. Now again, Mosh Pit Mike. He it looks like he got a warning on that one punch. He just tagged in Ray Basuda. What are they going to do? These two gentlemen have him backed in the corner. Oh! A straight shot into the corner. That is the spine that they are working over on I Am The Provider. And another straight shot and a big elbow there. Oh, oh, oh. Those are some dirty tactics right there. I know those. Trust me. Now, I'll tell you this. Brute 66. There is something quite interesting. Oh, big no, they were going for the hip toss, but then the big back drop. Oh, man, that one. I could feel it over here, Carney Rob. The tagging. <laughs> now, I will say this about Mosh and Basuda and Brute 66. First off, they do like, oh, they this do like to have a good time in the ring. They will use some underhanded tactics as well. To be fair, they both are New Mexico favorites. And so that is something I think the fans get behind, in all honesty. I think they like to see a tag team that goes out there and doesn't get taken advantage of. And now we've got the Prophet just crushing Mosh Pit Mike in the corner. Oh, and a big elbow. And I Am The Prophet is one of the few guys you'll actually see that will look Mosh Pit Mike eye to eye. That is true. He is a big man. If you are not here live, you cannot tell how big he truly is. And he looks Mosh Pit Mike right in the eyes Carney Rob reference now we got oh another big punch the ref is administering him you gotta keep it open you gotta keep it open oh and a stiff elbow to Mosh Pit Mike Ray Basuda is in nope oh another elbow and the ref is backing him up backing him up it's turning into quite a mess here I think 
The cult awaits, is choking out Mosh Pit Mike on that rope. I cannot see. Oh, and now I am the provider is is squaring up with the ref to tell him, oh my goodness, and Ray Basuda and, and I am the provider are going toe to toe. The ref cannot keep this under control. He cannot keep this under control. Mosh is being choked out by I am the prophet. The cult is making themselves known. It is just turning, it is breaking down. The ref just called for the, called for the bell, Carney Rob. Called for the bell. He cannot keep control of what's going on right now. Brute 66 is going crazy. It's straight, it's straight chaos inside there. You know, it's, they're, they are totally giving the beating to I am the prophet right now. And that is true. It does seem like he is kind of absorbing that punishment. And he is back up. He is back up. And I am the prophet is taking it to Ray Basuda after he jumped I am the provider. And a, a nasty blow. Oh, and another elbow shot. Stiff, stiff elbow shot. He is just working over Ray Basuda in the face. I mean, this is just breaking down. It is just breaking down between these two teams. They Nothing need to get been security solved. in there. Yeah, they, 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 they need oh to get. Oh my God! And now security is in, and they are throwing security around. This is just insane. I mean, nothing has been resolved. And now, I am the cult, or the cult awaits. Pardon me. The cult awaits is holding the belts up. They are saying these are ours. You do not deserve Possession. these. We deserve these. Oh, and now there's chairs in the ring. Here we go. Is nine tenths of the law. And now he's a lawyer. I mean, I, I do not know. Just like Ted Bundy. Apparently, no. he must have studied law because he is quoting the law. Oh, and they get out as, as Brew comes in with the chairs. Possession Bernie is Rob. nine tenths of the law. This is and crazy. He's correct. He's correct. Possession is nine tenths of the law. You were only and, uh, but the thing the is, Carney Rob, everybody in the arena, everybody in the arena knows that those titles, titles are brute six six, that they own them. The, rules the cult just grab them and they're getting them. ready to walk this out with them. This is just a taste of what you are going to see in the future. The cult awaits you. And brute sixty six is rushing out. Security is trying to keep this under wraps. Oh my goodness, Carney Rob, nothing was resolved in that match except that Brute 66 was well, it, looks, it looks like they got their belts back. They so did get their belts back. They did. Know, the, law is still, the law is still going to roll there. Nine, you know, possession is nine-tenths of the law, so they, they do have their, their belts back. Hello, Jesse Wrestling fans. I'm Jesse Lujan here live. Three Shades of Fate here with The Call to Waste You. They had a match. Guys, they had a match against Brute 66. The match was thrown out, and then you just take... Off with the titles? What's what's going on here? Hey, didn't you learn your lesson from the last time? Yeah. Another life lesson, Ray Basura, Mosh Pit Mike from 66. You did exactly like I said you would, and you didn't take anything seriously. Well, maybe you'll take it seriously as we raise those titles officially next time and fulfill our destiny. Tell them about it. I'm the prophet. August 5th! Destiny Wrestling presents True Grid, where it's gonna be a New Mexico Lumberyard, or you know, whatever it may be. Bring whatever you want, but we will fill our destiny! Obey, join, transcend. Obey, join, transcend. Hello, Destiny Wrestling fans. No, 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 we're not gonna go from that war we just had with the cult away to some jackass holding a microphone in my face. All right, everybody just heard me tell them that the next match is going to be for the belts or they're done. What does it mean, they're done? Tell them what that means, Ray. What that means is Brute 66 has been tag team champions for over a year. The way we won these is in our specialty match, a New Mexico Lumberyard match. If the cult awaits you wants these belts, they're going to take them the way we did. There you have it, Albuquerque, another edition of Destiny Wrestling on ProView TV. Next Monday, 5.30 p.m., be back here. The two matches we're going to feature from Three Shades of Fate is going to be women's action, Alley Cat taking on Delilah Doom, and also tag team action, Dressed to Kill, facing Ruben Iglesias and Pinky. Thanks for tuning in, fans. Please check us out at dwowrestling.com, and we'll see you next week.